Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Real Talk for Real People with your radio host, Rachel Loomis on the Gospel Wave. I hope everybody had an awesome weekend with your family and friends. And as we celebrated Father's Day yesterday, um, we had a wonderful day. And I pray that you all enjoyed it also. I just want to thank you all again for tuning in every week. Your support is really appreciated. We can't do this without your support. And we just love you and we're praying for you all. And we'd love to hear back from you. Make sure you're calling in to make a song request. And it's my goal on Real Talk for Real People for your feedback. I love to hear back from um, you all. Um, maybe some issues that you're going through, a situation you just have some questions on. Um, what, are, what are some of the topics that you would like to s- discuss on Real Talk for Real People? The vision of this segment is obviously to give you um, a little bit of you know, advice or just a tidbit of uh, wisdom uh, every week in uh, different situations and just encourage you in the Word of God. And sometimes we need to open up and talk about real issues that sometimes we're not able to talk to other people about. Um, And so this kind of segment is that open forum of hearing back from you and every week to come back and make the segment stronger and beneficial for you all. So I'd appreciate it if you all call in at 646-716-7953 from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. every Monday. So this week I wanted to talk to you since we just celebrated Father's Day and all the fathers, um, whether they're alive or where they've gone on, but they are still remembered and honored. And um, this week I wanted to touch on learning more about our Heavenly Father. I know there might be a few of you out there listening that have gone through some really detrimental experiences when it comes to remembering your Father. And some of you that have had some amazing memories and times and have been blessed with an amazing Father. Um, And in those cases where it hasn't been too positive, it's often hard to relate accepting the love of God because of some of the negative experiences that we had with our earthly father. So how do we get to a point where we can accept the love of God and see him as a great heavenly father? and a protector and our provider. Well, it all comes down to learning more about our Heavenly Father. You know, how can we know our dad or our mom or our friends, our family, if we don't spend any time with them, if we don't study their life, if we don't truly open up our heart to love them, then we will never really know them and become close. So I really wanted to focus more on those of you that have had negative experiences with your earthly father. I know that personally how it can be very hurtful because you see your dad as the superhero. This man is the first man in your life to show you how it is to be loved, protected, provides for you, advises you, fills your life with wisdom, helps support you. And some of, some of us out there have not received that, did not see that example. Perhaps some of you, it goes even deeper in scars where you were molested by a father or a stepfather. And it caused you a lot of pain and problems in other relationships and with your own self-worth and how you viewed yourself. When you see this man, my dad is supposed to protect me and he allowed this to happen. And you're confused of how God could possibly love you, how God could protect you 
And when negative things come into our, our life, we might even blame God because we think he is making it happen. And that's so far from the truth. This week, I really want to encourage you to get to know your Heavenly Father so that he can replace those negative, painful experiences and the struggles that you go through of comparing God, the Heavenly Father, versus your earthly father. And to let you know how much he wants a relationship with you, how much he loves you, how much he wants to take that pain and use it for his glory and give you a new life, give you a new perspective, give you a new joy and forgiveness. You know, sometimes it's really hard to forgive people. I know I've struggled with it, and a lot of people hold on to that bitterness all their life, and it eats away at your heart. It, it affects you mentally, physically, and spiritually. And God wants to come in and be that father that you never had to replace the hurt and the pain with his love. And how he wants to show you that is you simply having a relationship with him. That's all he wants. He's after your heart. You can't do enough or prove enough or be good enough for him to not love you or to love you. His love is unconditional. It doesn't matter what you've done in the past. It doesn't matter what you've done two seconds ago, what you thought, what you said, um, you know, maybe you are struggling right now with an issue, with a habit. God is not, you know, standing up there over your head and going to beat you. Um, maybe you, you all had physical abuse by your own father. That's not how God is. He's not up there with a belt, you know. You did this, bam. I mean, God loves you so much that he gave up his son to die on the cross for you. Who do you know to give up their life? That is, that is the most unconditional love is to give up one's life for another. So how can you get to know your heavenly father? Well, first of all, have you received him as your Lord and savior? Have you confessed with your mouth that Jesus is Lord? Have you actually sat down with a pastor or even if it wasn't anybody around and you're just alone and you feel the, the presence of God over your heart and you want to change your life? Have you asked the Lord to come into your life and to save you and help you make changes? That's the first step. That's very important. As I said, all God wants is your heart. He's not after, he doesn't care how much you make or how much you don't make, your status, your title. It don't matter um, how much money you have or you don't have. He's after simply your heart. He wants a relationship with you. The second step would be getting in the word of God. God wants a relationship with you. Remember this. So he left a love letter to you, and that is the Bible. Get in the scriptures. If you, if you have a hard time understanding the word and the scriptures or comprehending, you know, what is the scripture saying? Ask God to open your heart and open your mind to understanding. It may also be a good idea to get a study guide. And most importantly, prayer, communication. God just wants you to talk to him like you're talking to your friend, like you're talking to your parents, your brother or whoever. He wants to just have you talk to him and express your heart, pour it out to him. All God wants is for you to know him as your father. Psalm 68, five, it says, a father of the fatherless, a defender of the widow is God. I encourage you this week to spend more time learning more about who your daddy is, who your heavenly father is. He is waiting to show you great and mighty things. 
Thanks so much, you guys, for tuning in. This is Rachel Loomis for Real Talk with Real People on the Gospel Wave. Have a blessed week.